Verildi. Foremost among them, humans who began to shape nature itself. Our ancestors made stone tools, used fire and learned to farm. From wanderers and gatherers, we became settlers. As life became easier, people had a lot of time to look at the sky. In the apparent random distribution of stars in the night sky, our ancestors imagined familiar shapes and patterns, which we call the constellations. Today we recognize a total of 88 constellations that encompass the entire sky. Twelve of these are called the zodiacal constellations. Together, they form a belt running across the sky. The sun, the moon, and the planets appear to travel through the belt of the zodiac. One of the most conspicuous constellations seen in the winter sky is Orion, the hunter. A little to the west is the celestial bull, Taurus, a zodiac constellation. Taurus appears to be attacking Orion, the hunter. The orange giant star, Aldebaran, forms the eye of the bull. On the other side of Orion, we see Canis Major, the big dog, with Sirius the dog star. Sirius is the brightest star in the sky, and there above is the puppy dog, Canis Minor, with its bright star, Prusian. Early humans lived close to wild animals, and they saw them in the night sky as well, such as the bears. There's the big bear, Ursa Major, and nearby the baby bear, Ursa Minor. As we've seen, two stars from the body of the big bear point straight to this tail star of the little bear, which is the north star, Polaris. Right overhead, we find the famous zodiac constellation, Leo the Lion. One of the brightest stars, Regulus at the front paw, is actually four stars. And De Nebula at the tail is a relatively young star. In the southern skies, we see the ancient ship, Argo. Together, we have divided this ship into three constellations. The sails of the ancient ship we call Vela, the stern, Puppis, and the keel of the ship is called Carina. Canopus of Carina is the second brightest star in the sky. In fact, Canopus is used to navigate in the southern seas. Another constellation in the south that helps navigation is this one, formed by four stars in the shape of a cross. This is the Southern Cross, also known as Crux. Surrounding Crux is one of the biggest constellations, Centaurus. To the ancients, the stars were in the shape of a centaur, half man, half horse. Alpha Centauri, the third brightest star in the sky, is at the rear hoof of Centaurus. Along with Proxima Centauri, which is also the closest star to us in the entire night sky. Here, in the constellation Buotes, the herdsman, we find Arcturus, the fourth brightest star.
The fifth brightest star in the sky is seen rising in the east now, Vega, which has been studied more by astronomers than any star but the sun. With two other bright stars, Deneb of Cygnus and Altair of Aquila, Vega forms a famous celestial threesome called the Summer Triangle, which rises each May, signifying the approach of the summer season. At any given time, you can see about 3,000 our solar system is 300 light years from the center of the Milky Way galaxy. Andromeda galaxy, which is the farthest object that the naked eye can see, is some 2 million light years away. And Andromeda is the closest major galaxy to us. Beyond it are more than 100 billion galaxies stretching across billions of light years. Over thousands of years, we have tried to comprehend the universe by observing it. Today, we do so using increasingly powerful telescopes and computers, trying always to formulate a comprehensible picture of the universe. billions 
millions of years, the sun itself may expand into a red giant engulfing the Earth and beyond. In the past, some astronomers theorized that our expanding universe might eventually slow down, halt, and begin to collapse. But that theory may be in question because of the recent discovery of what astronomers call dark energy and dark matter. We don't know exactly what they are, but we know they make up a large part of the universe, and the discovery suggests that the universe is not just expanding, but accelerating. future generations might discover. They are likely to have an entirely different understanding of the universe than we do. As each